So today we're going to talk about two popular cloud security certifications for those who want to level up their cloud security career. We have two big names. One certified cloud security professional from ISC2 and the other is AWS security specialty. Today we're going to talk about both. On one hand, you've got a vendor neutral heavyweight backed by IIC2. On the other hand, you've got a deep laser focused hands-on search from Amazon Web Services. So which one is the better pick for your career? That's exactly what I'm going to break down today. So let me start with Certified Cloud Security Professional. Think of this as the big picture cloud security cert. It is basically run, as you know, by ISC2, the same folks behind the popular certification CISSP. CCSP covers six main domains. First, cloud architecture. Next, data security. Third, cloud uh, platform and infrastructure. Four, application security five operations and six legal and compliance. So this is not about memorizing AWS commands or specific uh, GCP or Google Cloud platform features. It's about truly understand the frameworks, the shared responsibility model, the risks and the controls that apply across all cloud providers. To actually earn the CCSP once five years of IT experience, three of which or three of those in security and at least one year in one of the CCSP domains. But here's the cool part. If you don't have the full experience yet, you can still pass the exam and become, as you know, the associate of ISC2 while you earn that time in, while, or while you spend time in earning the experience. On a side note, starting October or as of October 1, 2025, CCSP moved to adaptive testing, which means that the exam now gets a little bit smarter and adjusts to how you are doing similar to the CISSP CAD format. Let's now talk about the AWS security specialty. AWS security specialty is very different. While CCSP is broad, AWS security is deep, hands-on, AWS specific and aimed at people who actually secure AWS environments day to day. The exam focuses on things like instant response, logging and monitoring, infrastructure security, identity and access management, data protection, and at the end, governance on AWS. AWS recommends three to five years in security overall and at least two years working specifically with AWS workloads for the credential. So now, having introduced AWS, security, and CCSP, it's now, now it's time to talk about who each cert is for. CCSP is great if you are working in multi-cloud environments, or if you're heading toward architecture, governance, or compliance leadership roles. Think of someone advising businesses on risk across providers. If you're aiming for these roles, then CCSP is the way to go. However, choose AWS security specialty if your day-to-day -day is inside AWS. If you are the person setting up guard duty, locking down S3 buckets, hardening VPSs, or maybe even automating instant response playbooks, this cert screams, I can actually secure AWS in production. If your company or if you work for companies that heavily use AWS resources, then AWS security is the go-to for you. Now let's talk difficulty. CCSP can feel like studying for a law degree and maybe even a cloud cert at the same time. It's basically conceptual. It is governance heavy, and you need to understand why the why behind everything. It's less about command line tricks and more about the bigger picture, architecture, frameworks, and legal implications. On the other hand, AWS security hits you with scenario-based questions. Think of real AWS situations, how to respond to specific guard duty findings, how to design identity and access management roles for, say, multi-account setups, and how to secure PPS egress. If you do not live and breathe AWS, well, AWS will be tough for you. But if you do, it's, it's going to be incredibly rewarding. So at the end, the verdict, two certifications, both certifications are not easy. But they actually are, the exam format is different. So I cannot tell you which one is more difficult. Depends on your level of knowledge. Let's now talk about preparation. If you want, if you're going to prepare for certified cloud security professionals, I advise you guys to start by going through the official exam outline from ISC2. Next, I advise you to focus on the cloud data lifecycle, which is very important for the exam. Next, make sure you know your compliance frameworks and shared responsibility inside out. And don't forget to practice with scenario-based questions that test you how you think, not how you memorize. And by the way, if you are short on the required views of experience, it's okay, don't sweat it. Get the associate title first, and then you build experience over time to get the full credential. If you want to prepare efficiently now for AWS security, well, Go through the AWS exam guide. It is your main blueprint. Okay, 
Next, do lots of labs. Think of guard duty labs, cloud trail labs, uh, application firewall, AAM, and most importantly, for AWS security exam, don't just read. You have to break stuff, build things, and of course, at the end, you have to learn how to fix them. Focus on things like the nuances, like how um, SCPs work or how to secure public S3 buckets. And definitely drill those real-world scenarios. Both of these certifications are, are in very high demand right now. According to ISC2 workforce study, cloud security is still one of the hottest gaps in the talent market. And AWS is still the number one cloud provider globally, which means AWS security certs get you noticed for hands-on roles like engineer, security lead, or even DevSecOps. And CCSP helps you move into senior roles like architect, uh, program lead, and gives you credibility across multiple platforms. Where will you spend most of your next two years? Inside AWS environments. If that's the case, go for AWS security specialty. Now, if you're going to spend most of your time working across multiple uh, cloud environments or maybe more on the strategic and leadership side, then go for CCSP. Some people do AWS security first to build hands-on credibility and then later CCSP to move up into broader leadership roles. And honestly, this combo is very hot. Now, let's uh, talk about a study path that you may take to prepare for both certifications. So for AWS security, a good study timeline looks like maybe around 10 to 12 weeks. Two weeks to build your base labs, four to five weeks to go deeper per domain, two weeks for scenario drills, and maybe one to two weeks to tighten weak spots with practice exams. Now for CCSP, I mean, I would say it is more than 10 weeks. Maybe it would go up to 12 or 14 weeks because you're gonna need a preparation to uh, learn about the domains, uh, case studies, compliance work, and of course, at least you need two weeks for time practice and CAT facing. At the end of the day, both certifications are very powerful, but the context decides which one to choose. And I will wrap this up by saying, if you're hands-on building and securing AWS workloads, choose AWS security specialty. It will boost your practical value fast. However, if you're aiming for higher up, or you're aiming higher up the ladder, like leadership, compliance, architecture, then CCSP gives you that big picture authority. So basically, either way, you're investing in a skill that, that is getting only hotter uh, as we speak. So that's my take on these two certifications. Let me know, guys, what you think in the comments.